Most times when we talk about survival, we usually refer to surviving in wooded areas or a hideout. Today, we will focus on what you need to survive in an urban area. And yes, you can bug out in an urban area. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today we will be listing out the essential items you need for an urban survival situation. Ready? Here we go. So if an urban survival situation is different from wilderness survival, what sort of items are suitable for such a situation? You can personalize your survival kit to suit any disaster, and I recommend that you have one kit at home, another at work, and one in your car. This way, you don't have to run home to pick up your survival kit. The first item on our list is a tactical flashlight. You need to get a good flashlight, not a small pen flashlight, and you should keep it on you or in an easy to access part of your kit. Up next is a first aid kit. You should have a first aid kit even if it contains just an antiseptic spray, a few band-aids, tape, and gauze strips. You should have a water bottle in your survival kit. And just in case you run out of clean water, you should pack water filtration tablets or a water filter. Also, you need to pack up survival food like freeze-dried, vacuum-sealed, or dehydrated food, or you buy food kits from the market. Another essential item you should have in your survival kit is a solar-powered emergency radio. This small device provides you with weather reports and emergency updates for your area. Pack a lighter, too. This item can supply you with both light and fire during a disaster. You may need a folding survival knife that can serve several purposes, like cutting items open and as a self-defense weapon. Another item to pack is an N99 or N95 respirator mask that will protect you from unhealthy air. Duct tape is a versatile item you can use to fix ducts, seal boxes, and food packages. It can also be used as a handcuff for self-defense if you should ever need it. Having a hard time lighting up a fire? You can use duct tape as a Kindle to start a fire. There are several items you need in your survival kit, and spare batteries should be a part of your kit. You will need spare batteries for your emergency radios, flashlights, and other devices. It's recommended that you get hand crank versions of your devices so that you're not dependent on batteries. And finally, if it still matters, you need cash. Lots of it. Probably because ATMs may not work when you need them to during a disaster. Also, note that when a disaster strikes, you need both tools and skills. This is because the more skills you have, the less gear you'll need. Are there items you think should be on the list? Please send in your suggestions or any questions you have in the comments. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. See you next time.